Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And it's done. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Sadly, the promos are over, but don't let that upset you because it's the 1st of December and the upcoming content that we have for this month is absolutely insane. It's endless. Literally, team of the group stage on Friday, I believe. We've got player of the month, we've got footmoves, we've got icon SBCs, icon swaps, prime icons towards the end of this month. It's insane. And there's a load of potential to make coins because pretty much every single day leading up to Christmas, you have those footmoves SBCs. So I'm loving it. And what did I do on my day off yesterday? I reinvested that time back into the series and I made a load of coins. Like for about two and a half hours, three hours, it was just a continuous supply of sniping cards, selling them sniping cards and just over and over. Like this was round two on my trade pile. It was full up. And we have made about, yeah, 120 to 130,000 coins, which is awesome. And a lot of these, like you might get lucky and snipe maybe a Serie A defender who was 2,700 in Smalling's case. Uh, the Premier League cards, I did say yesterday that they held their value a little bit better. They were like 1,006 for a bit. And then this was when the market was at its lowest. And now it's even lower because obviously we don't really have any SBCs right now. And if we do, they've already done it. So the supply just isn't really there. But this is just an awesome like sniping uh, method where you're just going to get some center backs for chemistry. You're going to get defenders. Um, you're going to get maybe 82s. It just really depends on what requirements EA are asking for. And I also have just a few other cards that didn't sell like 850. If we check his market value now, he is um yeah he's not really selling so instead of just like listing him up now may as well wait and see what comes uh, comes out but yesterday right um i tried the 81 to 87 sbc i did seven of them just with some leftover stuff that i had at the club i had it already recorded just in case i pulled something and i got absolutely nothing oh no tell a lie i did get diego carlos 83 at the start of the game that would have been like a 50,000 coin pull which would have been sick but it was pretty pathetic so what I then decided to do is use most of my non-rare silvers with my non-rare golds at the club and invest that into the player picks. Now, are we going to get anything? We're really wanting to grind, get as much of that high-rated fodder so we can submit it towards the base icon SBC. And I know you guys are going to call me crazy, but it is tradition that we do these SBCs. And the last one was terrible, like Shevchenko. I really want to get rewarded with something, okay? So if you're enjoying the series, by the way, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if we can aim for like 2,000 plus likes, it would be amazing. And if you are new to the series and you like my content and, and you're excited for the future as to what I'm going to bring, hit that subscribe button. And if you're wanting game codes, G2A, link below and use that code Fuji, all right? So let's get into this. Uh, fingers crossed, we can pull literally just some 85s, 86s. Oh, sorry. I had this uh, switch. I was going to say, what the hell have I done there? 84? Good. That's what I want to do. Minimum 84s just to bring down the cost of the icon. But today, after I do this, we're going to go and test out a new formation, a 4-3-3, which is very similar in a way to like the 3-5-2 because you've got that wing support. You've got the middle cam. You've got the striker. You've got the two centimeters pushing on. So maybe I will really enjoy that formation as well as testing out that storyline Tello just in case you guys haven't hit oh damn Wilson shout out Wilson though but yeah just in case you haven't hit level 15 yet um I'll let you know if Tello is well worth it but come on it's just some juicy cards right now no duplicates please just like oh a record breaker as well they are still in packs and as there isn't really a limit to what you can pull from these uh well wouldn't mind uh wouldn't mind some of those go on 81 damn but with the upgrades or well not so much upgrades i haven't made any changes to our weekly side and what am i gonna do because i keep getting asked right i'm not sure like Raphael ram with the way he played last weekend i'm definitely keeping him kante is a hundred percent gomez i don't know i think it depends on what we pull because if I hit like a Rio Ferdinand or an Emmanuel Vidic or something like that, I'm pretty confident that I'd bring them into this starting 11. So, yeah, I don't believe I'm going to be making uh, too many changes. But what I don't want to do, and th there's a reason why I'm doing this right now, is I don't want to go and like spend 300,000 coins that I, I have right now and put it back into the icon. I want to try and submit as much untradeable for the 
as I can po possibly uh, do. Otherwise, it's just bad. It's going to be a bad look. But Deco, oh my god. This is awful. EA know what they're doing. These player picks are absolutely horrendous. No, no joke. 81s? 81s, 83s? Come on, I've only had 184 in how many? Yikes, big yikes. They are really going to make me grind. But what I'll do is I'll just put this stuff back into the 81 to 87. So then at least you're going to get an 81 or higher. No, those were terrible yesterday. That's why I've done these. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Nah, come on. This is a joke. Just another 84. Hey, 83 Manola. Still never used him. Come on. We got, what, five remaining? Ah, oh, jeez. All right, we're getting worse. Five remaining. 82. Nice. Oh, by the way, right? I have found a player that's going to be a really, really good investment for us on the RTG. Um, I'm not going to speak about it too much. Um, he's in my trade pile right now, or sorry, my transfer watch list. I'm going to put some bids on him tonight. And then maybe on Friday, we we'll see some uh, big money. Now, I'll obviously keep you guys updated with how much I'm buying them for and stuff. Um, if I let you guys know who I've invested in, obviously, it's going to flood the market. This isn't like a sniping tip where the supply is just over and over. Th this would kill that investment because everyone else would do it. It would flood the market. You get the idea. So this one's for me. But the rest of the trading, I will obviously uh, share it with you. Th that was awful. That was actually just useless was there 21 items there i don't know let's store them into the club do we have any more wow yeah that was it boys god damn that was just not well worth it was it i, I didn't really submit much it was just like a bunch of non-rares that were untradeable um what else did we have in there um just some silvers it required like i think seven golds and the rest silvers but anyway, uh, this is a team that we're going to be using today. I did snipe Bastos for 6,500 coins, and he's still about 10,000 or so. Yeah, 8,000 or oh, 6,006. Oh, damn. Maybe those are a snipe. So maybe I could get rid of him for like 9,000. So if we do this objective as soon as possible, we're not going to make, uh, not going to um, lose a lot of coins. But this Tello, I stuck on just some random chem style for him. Well, Gladiator helps him out because the defending and shooting are really his worst stats. And he looks like a, like a fun card. So Gomez is going to carry it. We've got Muriel, Striker. We have Nkulu with obviously Bastos. And we've got uh, Karlsdorp in the right back position. Just because he's 75 rated. And we've got 77 overall. So we're ready. Hopefully nobody is making some cheeky subs. Ben's Barmy Army. And that team, it doesn't look as good as mine though. With how he's put it together. Although the attack is pretty much the same. I don't know. It just doesn't look that great. Well, the fans have been yeah, this guy is pretty good. <sighs> Nandez, what a challenge. Oh, come on. I saw the ball. I connected with that. Lozano. Yes, well played, Lozano. No, I'm not getting rewarded with my tackles right now. It's a little bit concerning. There we go. Now we get rewarded. Go on, Gomez. I can't get out of my half. We're going to have to like really, really stretch the play right now. Karlsdorp, 75 rated. Oh, no. And then through. Go on. Who's here? Who's here? Jovino. Oh, no. With his left foot. Oh, dear. This is this is a tough one. He's pretty damn compact at the back. He's making it hard for me. Good. Here we go. Nah. Oh, you put him under pressure here. Oh, damn. I did. I am reading where he's going, but... Mm. Good challenge. Oh, nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what these referee calls are. They are horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Trust. Yo, Delefeu is not going for goal, is he? He is. Come on, Tello. Go on, Tello. He's fast. He's so fast. What a ball. Lay that through. Well played. Well played. Now, if I shot and I rushed it with Muriel, I don't believe that would have been a goal. Because his keeper was right on top of me. Oh, he got me there. I did play a switch early. Oh, shame. 
Got quite a few players here. We just really got to roll. Got to find our way through. Nice and patient. Wait for him to pull his players out. Mm, through the gap. It's just not really much going on here. Oh, wow. Gomez. That is quality. That is unbelievable. He has cut him completely open. And he's really patient. That's how we're going to have to play against this guy. We're grinding out here. It's worse than the weekend league. Legitimately. But we've seen a lot of the ball. We've had good pass accuracy. Uh, is it going to be enough, though, to come away with a result? And I'm still, by the way, in my 4-3-3. I'm just chilling in it right now. Gomez. This is yours. All yours, Gomez. Anybody here? Jovinho. Jovinho. This is a nice position. Gomez. Gomez. Oh, come on, ref. He had his arms around my head. Oh, he's going to keep running. I should really take him out like he did to me. Is that a goal? Good block, Nandez. Keeper, 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 come out. Oh, useless keeper. Oh, no, that's... Like, he is 70, like, something rated. He's low rated, but that's poor. In the middle, Muriel. Back to him. Who's making that overlap? Oh, Jovino is in so much space. Gomez through. Finished. Oh, what a goal from Tello. There he is, boys. Storyline Tello. Mad reactions to get onto that. Uh, I think the ball was slightly over hit, but fair enough. Good goal. Well done. Tello's just got that strength. That's ours. Sorry, I just got to keep him pinned back a little bit. First line pass. Whoa, ball roll. Yes, that's game over. You know what? We, we did really uh, keep focus in this game. And the 4-3-3, I kind of like it. I like the movement and stuff. And it's just my first game with it. I have, I've never used it on FIFA 21 yet. So, yeah, I, I do kind of like it. Go on. Oh, come on. That could have been a pen. Gomez somehow has still got it. He loves it. Muriel, 5-2. Wow, tough game though. 100% skill-based matchmaking. It's not even a question anymore. Oh, he's in the score an own goal. Yeah, go on. Let me have an own goal. Oh, I thought he was... Yeah, you're going to give me one? Yeah, go on. Let me. Thank you. That's another goal for Gomez. 6-2. Four shots. Four goals for Gomez. Now there's a reason why I basically surrendered some other positions for this guy in that cam roll. In the 4-3-3, damn, he likes it. And we're using the 4-3-3 attack. So we've got the cams and two centimeters. We don't have any CDMs at all. But I was still able to defend uh, fairly well. But that goal there, that's just very, very good control. And a decent finish. Look at that low finesse. Bottom corner, left foot. This guy seriously is better than Alessandrini, I think. So some of you guys watching might not really play foot champs. So if you've used that time to grind towards the objective and you've already completed Delefeu, what do you make of him? Do you think he's good enough to get into my starting 11? Or do you find yourself like playing him off the bench? Because I remember, right, at the start of the game, when I had his Watford version, obviously the regular card, he was pretty good. Like, he still has that mad agility. He's got okay finishing. So with this boost, I wonder how good he's really playing. So yeah, do let me know in the comments. Uh, we've already won a game towards him, but that is me done. I'm not going to be playing anymore today. What I will say, though, is this Tello might be someone you'd be interested in. He's got mad speed. Uh, he's tracking back using his strength. I, I mean, the referee did give away a stupid foul, and I don't believe it was. So, yeah, it could be the lack of quality, like real quality from the card. But on the ball, he's okay. He even scored a goal that doesn't show because it was a friendly, which uh, which is a shame. But it was a good finish. What is his reactions? Only 81. Damn, that was a, a good, uh, good shot, yeah. Uh, Bastos is a beast, by the way. Like, this team was holding out. In the 4-3-3, it was feeling really, really good. And I think it's because of Nandez, right? 93 stamina, highest high work rates. Then you have Tello that has mad speed. And he also has high tight work rates with good stamina. So this is kind of balanced. Like if I was using a 4-3-3 myself, that's what I'd look for. Boxer box players. Um, it is demanding though. Because if they are like needing to push on, got to find someone super well-rounded. But anyway... 
Thank you very much for watching. If you're struggling with the Serie A objective, build this team. It feels really good. Capable of getting some results. Anyway, this keeper is horrendous though. He needs to go. Maybe I can bring somebody else in. But thanks for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a potential Icon SBC. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Team out. Peace.